Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Um, today I'm going to be telling you the story of my last few days with Grayson. I didn't have the time, the money, or the resources to reach a complete and definite diagnosis of FIP, feline infectious peritonitis. However, I strongly believe this is what Grayson has passed away from. Through many hours of intensive and discouraging research, I found tiny morsels of hope for us, and so I reached out to all of you, and to all of you I say thank you for the amazing support, love, and thoughts, the prayers that you sent our way. If Grayson has taught me anything, it's to appreciate life, appreciate every moment, and to try to make the best out of every situation. So I will never forget Grayson. And I will never forget the beauty that he brought into my life and into my mind. Here's the story of our last few days together. So he did come to us with the name Grayson with an A, but over the last few weeks with him, I kind of, in my own head, I, I just switched it over to an E because it's still the name that he remembers, but it's kind of our name now, not just the name he was given. When we first brought him into the vet, these were his symptoms. The week following his vet visit, he progressively got worse and worse. At the beginning, he was fighting. He was trying to eat. He was drinking water on his own. But as the days went on, it became more and more difficult for him to eat. It became a task for him to walk to his water bowl his last few days. My sister and I would bring him cups of water and he was drinking and lapping it up and looking at us like he was saying thank you. But I had a plan set in motion and I was trying to learn and trying to work fast enough. But as life has it, we don't always have enough time, enough money, or the resources to efficiently assess and act upon every situation. I was sitting on the ground with Grayson and I was trying to bring him water and just something about the way he looked at me he turned his head away from the water and he just looked so sad so in pain he was not the same kitty cat And, and he was asking me for help. It was different before when he was fighting and when I had things starting to move. I could tell that his fight was over, that he was tired, and I respect that. Laying down, he almost looked like a normal, healthy cat, but when he walked, you could tell. His belly was huge, and when you got closer, he had become skin and bones, aside from the excess fluid filling his abdomen. So on August 8th, I spoke with multiple different veterinarians and then everybody took turns saying goodbye to Grayson and telling him how loved he is. He didn't cuddle much anymore near the end, 
So I just spent a lot of time sitting with him, telling him it was okay, and that I loved him. And then I had the hardest day of my life. I knew it was what was best for him. And that's all that kept me going that day. I was able to get him into a beautiful, reputable veterinary clinic with amazing vets and amazing staff. After speaking with the vet about everything that had happened and what was going on with him, we concluded that it was too late for Grayson and anything that I could do maybe just prolonging his passing away. The veterinarian provided us with a calm, nice room to say our final goodbyes. We were allowed to have as much time as we needed to say goodbye. I played calming music and I held him in my arms. And then he was gone. My sister found the most beautiful place to bring Grayson and Sarah final goodbyes. We adorned him in flowers. And then we let him rest. The man running the crematorium tapped me on the shoulder before I said my final goodbyes, and he gave me this. I thought it was very sweet. I just wanted to say one last time to absolutely everybody involved, thank you. You've helped me make light out of a seemingly very dark situation. I just want to reiterate why I'm making this video. Something terrible happened to my angel, and I need his story to be shared in hopes of potentially bringing to light this terrible disease. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Finding this information was strenuous and discouraging. So I am providing all of the links in the description below. These would be defining FIP research-based cases and trial treatments and success stories as well. On top of this, I will be doing my best to get a video on my complete understanding of FIP out as soon as possible. Grayson, I will never forget you. I will never forget the change that you made in my life, the positivity, the love, unconditional love, and your story is going to stay with me. Maybe it'll help somebody else too. Ha, <laughs> ha,